the senator representing uh, those central senatorial district and governorship candidates of the All Progressives Congress, Senator Monde Okbaiwilu, has officially flagged off the construction of a six-kilometer road project within uh, those central senatorial district. With bulldozers and other heavy machinery now in motion, the project marks a significant milestone in Edo central infrastructural development. The report. That was the commencement of a six-kilometer Uromi Onewa Udoni Ebolulu Iwa Road in Edo Central Senatorial District, facilitated by Senator Monde Okwebolu, APC gubernatorial candidate has garnered widespread appreciation from party leaders, community leaders, and other stakeholders who came from far and wide to witness the flag off of the road projects. Addressing the people, the facilitator, Senator Mondi Okwebulu, who is also the APC governorship candidate, appreciated the people for their unwavering support even before becoming a senator. He stated that his decision to embark on the road project was born out of his desire to transform the state and take it to the next level. Mabulu. Only unity in our mind now. We don't have to do anything. We don't have to do anything. My brother, Sato Dianyevo, I don't have to do anything. 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 Are happy because we are flag of this road and the, the job is commenced. And by the grace of God, we complete it. Well, we are looking at this road to be completed in three or four months because the rainy season is closed. And by the grace of God, we achieve it. The project described as a pivotal road by many because it is linking Asa Northeast and Asa Central local government areas in the district has been applauded by party leaders and others who poured encomium on the APC governorship candidate, Senator Mondi Okwebulu, a.k.a. Akpakomiza, for his contribution in improving the lives of the people in Edo Central. So for that, I will say he's a great man. I want to, to, tell, to say that he's a very nice man and we have a lot of confidence in him. Former Speaker Edo State House of Assembly, Engineer Victor Edoro, and former Deputy Speaker Edo State House of Assembly, Honorable Festus Ebea, while speaking with BTV News, reiterated the need for Edo people to throw their weight behind Senator Mondi Okwebolo, noting that he is a homeboy who understands the pains of the people. They added that the Senator has all it takes to bring about a revival in infrastructure, education, road network, and agriculture in the state if he's elected as the next governor of Edo State. Everybody here is happy about it. We that are not from here, we are very happy about it. And we want development in this land to be even. Because we have suffered too much. This land has suffered for a long time. And we want it, 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 an avenue where our people are connected. All our agricultural products are brought to the bear of the people. And everybody will be happy with it. We are happy that uh, the Tom Okpavo is doing the right thing. And that is why, without ticket twice, we gave him the ticket to run for the governor of Edo State. If Monday was not a homeboy, no matter what, he would not understand that the road like this exists. Some of the people who are making noise outside today, who say they are from Besa, go and check, within their business, they don't even know that the road like this exists. So that is why we are here to say thank you. If you can do this within the short while you've been descended, what do we now get when he becomes a governor? APC chairman in Asa Northeast local government also expressed satisfaction over the way the senator is improving the lives of the people. He said that when the road is completed, it will immensely boost economic activities between Asa Northeast and Asa Central local government areas. Honorable Princess Esther, the woman mobilizer for Akpakomiza campaign organization, applauded Senator Mondi Okwebulu for the minute fee to embark on the construction of the strategic road and urged the people to support the senator as he returned Edo State into a construction site when elected. This is why we are equally using the opportunity to beg us and people that we should not get carried away by voting for aliens who are not one of us. Let's vote for somebody who knows our pains in our community and that will contribute to the development of our land. That is why we are gathered here to witness this epoch-making occasion to say thank you to the senator for coming to the aid of the people because this road is going to bring in a lot of good developments to this land. This road is very strategic in the life of uh, Isa Northeast and Isa Central because it is an inter-road. It converses, it encompasses Isa Northeast and Isa Central local government. So it's going to help 
boosting the economic activities in this locality. You know, this area is peasantly farmers that dominate this two, two segments in the local government. The farm produce that were that would be high next from this area it cannot have access road to urban cities. It helps in producing more economic advantage. Other party leaders who came to witness the flag off of the road construction thanked Senator Modi Okwebulu for the laudable project, describing him as focus-driven, calm, and a man of few words, citing his numerous developmental strides in Edo Centra and his love for the people. They stated that the flag off of the road construction by Senator Modi Okwebulu is born out of a desire to ameliorate the plight of the people, just as he expressed that when elected the next governor, Edo State will be transformed holistically. Best orator reporting for BTV News.